Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. I'm Jimmy Fantastic. Uh, my character is a level 5 human fighter with crossbow, uh, expert, etc. That's it. Hello everybody, I am Eliod the Nom, a level 5 rock gnome cleric of the life domain. Um, hello. Uh, hello, I'm Vailquist, playing Florgo Snark, a goblin sorcerer. Um, Utterly incapable of dealing damage and very prone to just sneaking away doing my own stuff. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Dimmy G, aka Dimitriov. I'm the fighter, Axeman extraordinaire who uh, gets punched in the face a lot while these guys mess about. Uh. JB, did you get my private message to you on Discord? Yeah, I got it. Thanks for yeah. thanks for the notice. I appreciate that. What? <laughs> I asked. He he sent me all of his info uh, thirty <laughs> seconds before the stream started. <laughs> I, mean, I love being able to prep for a, uh... to be like <laughs> constructive or like. Uh having any sort of fantasy all week and I've just like come up blank and then I went for a walk with Isla before the stream and I that's what I came up with. So your dog spoke to you and told you uh, that that's what you should do this week? <laughs> no, Isla was completely preoccupied by uh, trying to swim in the ocean. Right. <clears throat> all right, gentlemen, and everything in between. So Wow, what a what a hell of a last episode, huh? So, Elliot uh, was able to guide <laughs> the party into Steelbury, at uh, which point Elliot, uh, Elliot, you 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 witnessed. I don't want to call it the funeral, but you've witnessed the resting spot or the lying in wait um, uh, place of of your old master. It was a. Uh, mm -hmm. A hell of a uh, an emotional thing for you, I would assume. <clears throat> uh, Dimitriov finally got rid of his chess set. Um, every everybody was able to get into the library, and uh, the library scene was something else, right? Because you guys were introduced to something. Holy Jesus! What? <laughs> it's good data. I was joking about the Kush, man. Dado plays a note. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, and then um, the four of you, uh, it, although Elliot had known about this before, what the hell is in your, oh, is that your finger, Elliot, or is that a pipe? <laughs> it's my finger. It's just, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that man, was what you've done. <laughs> it was just a casual finger like this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, and the, the, uh, three of the other party members were introduced to, to one of the, one of the the well-known exports of the gnomish culture the steelberry kush and uh each of you was was granted a um granted a your own pipe beautiful ivory pipe it's all on your uh on your um uh character sheets by the way as well as two more doses of some of the steelberry kush which as you remember so as of right now for the next 24 hours you all have your plus two to your uh, intelligence and wisdom checks, and then advantage for any attribute checks um, relating to those, um, which is nice. That that goes that goes a long way. And then uh, the determination was made that you were going to head over to the uh, to the temple district, if I remember correctly, right? Mm. We were going to, yes. And we'll and along the way, while you were walking there, you were waylaid by uh, by several small hands. So when, when, we last, uh, when we last left, um, darkness and silence had dropped all around you. And, and in a split second, um, nets, not, not nets from the ceiling, but what, what I had meant to say was you felt nets go like, like as if two or three were running by you while they were holding both sides of the nets and then just took your feet out from under you, mm -hmm. cudgeled you, and then that was that. So... <clears throat> as we come back, as we as we as we uh, as we fade into scene, right? Each of you was kind of piled next to each other. I had a um, I had a small scene set up for this, but there were some updates um, on um, on Forge, which is a software that we use, 
and some of the mods have broken some of the um, some of the mods to the software. And it, that's normal. It usually takes about a week or so to catch back up. So we're just going to kind of role play this a little bit more just on the map screen, as it were. But the four of you start to kind of uh, you, you start to come around out of it a little bit. Um, there's a very there's a very um, oh God, I don't I don't know how really to describe it. If anybody, it's for, for the for the long and the short of it. Basically, what they're doing to bring you guys around is is they're they're giving you smelling salts. And I don't know if any of you has ever smelt smelling salts. I have from sports when you when you have been somewhat um, knocked out. But um, it's it's like a really sharp, ugly smell that just it brings you around really quick, and it kind of clears your nostrils out. So the four of you start to start. You almost startle awake and. And you're all kind of laying next to each other, and you're in you're in one of the corners of Steelburg. You don't know where, obviously, but you're in a corner of like a cave network. There's a couple of of walls around you. There's a fountain. You can hear the sounds of a of a fountain um, in in the near distance, and um, several of these braziers that we talked about in blues and greens and reds are glowing softly around you within 30, 40 feet, but their lights reflecting off of the other buildings, as we had mentioned, is how they kind of light Steelbury. So who's the first to kind of wake up from this? I guess I am. Okay, so Flargle, so you kind of, you, you, um, you kind of, you open your eyes slowly, right? You know, you know, you're smart enough not to just simply spring to your feet or kind of sit up, right? You, you've been waylaid before in your past. You've waylaid others in your past. You open your eyes and you try to take in what's going on around you. Um, you see your three compatriots next to you. You're, you guys are none the worse for wear, but you notice immediately that that um, Dimitriov's axe is gone, as is Daka's um, hand crossbow. Um, Elliot's on the other side of them. You can't really see them. You can't really see him. Um, and kind of looking around, it's a nice soft glow. You're not in like a prison. You're not in a building. You're not in, you, you it seems like you've been dragged to kind of like the corner, or like a more private corner location behind a couple of buildings more than anything. Do I, uh, notice the presence of anyone other than us? Give me a give me a perception check. Can you click on perception or no? Uh, no, nothing happens okay. when I go. Go to your see at the top right where it says sheet. This is one of the breaks, I think. Click on where it says sheet. Yeah. Where it says this sheet and it says D and D tidy, do the drop down and click default sheet and then hit save sheet configuration. Everybody do that if you get a chance. Mm, sorry, what was the instructions? So at the top right of your your character sheet, it'll say sheet. Do the drop down for D and D five E tidy, and then just go to default sheet. And now it's it's your sheet's going to look a little bit different, but and then now save, you should be able to click perception and All then right, save yes. sheet configuration. Yep. All right, and um, perception check. Whoa. Okay, so let me make sure. Okay, so um, that's a wisdom check. So check, do it one more time. Remember, you're supposed to do that at advantage because you had the cush. So 14 is a good score, but let's see if we can, you can get you. Let's see if you can get any higher with your advantage. So I just roll it normal one more time, one more time. Yeah, perception and then just a normal check. Okay, it's so an eleven. All right, so yeah, there are um, you 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 you're you've got a you've got a small knot on the back of your head, right? It's obvious they weren't trying to kill you. Um, you got a little headache going on. There are gnomes around. Um, they're dressed in near all black. Uh, their goggles, where you're used to seeing yellows and reds and blues and even some clear, their goggles are jet black. And they all have face coverings 
that is just under their nose because their noses are protruding. They're too large for a face covering, right? So the, the face covering is coming underneath the nose. The goggles are covering the eyes. They're very well disguised. No, Jim, these are not the ninjas. <laughs> it sure wow. sounds like the ninjas. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does sound like the ninjas. Um, I, um, well, I will keep uh, quiet so as not to alert them to the fact that I'm awake. Um, and I will try to nudge awake uh, uh, Jimmy and Demi. Okay, who, which, who's, who's next to you? You tell me. Is it Jimmy or Demi right next to you? Jimmy's next to me, and he I know that he's not the most intelligent fellow, so he's probably not going to be aware to the fact to keep quiet. <laughs> okay, so you nudge, Jim, you nudge Daka. Um, you know, Daka's already moving a little bit. Like, he's coming around, right? He's not, he's not looking around, but everybody's kind of moving their heads a little bit. Daka, you awaken now, um, and you, uh, you feel a, a small, um, what is it called, a uh, scaled hand, right? He's got some scales that are protruding from his wrist that kind of come over the, the, the patches of his palm as he, as he shakes you slightly, getting you to, to arouse. And then, um, and, you know, you get, you get, yeah, and you get the, you get the, the message to kind of stay still, right? I'm not trying to nudge him into arouse. <laughs> no, rouse, not, not arouse, not arouse, arouse, not, rouse, not arouse, just rouse. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Obviously, the second that I wake up, my hand instinctively goes to my hand crossbow and find it's not there. And it's just like, oh my God, it's like losing your phone, isn't it? It's just a blind panic of <laughs> where's my crossbow? Okay, it is. Worry. It would be like losing your phone for you, absolutely. Because mm. that thing's in your hand probably 50% of the day, right? Mm. So, yeah, absolute what panic. What are you that, guys but... doing? Why do you have your phone in your hand 50% of the day? He was talking about the hand crossbow. He's talking about his hand crossbow with uh, Daka. So, Demetria Vanelli, you guys start to arouse as well. You guys wake up. Rouse. Uh, no. Start to rouse as well. <laughs> you find a small squirrel per day. Okay. He's so, very um, kinky here into like abduction. Uh... <laughs> We're not tied up or anything, though, right? No, no. Okay. You guys are not tied oh, up. The nets aren't around. There's really, anywhere. no reason to be aroused. <laughs> you're, kind of, you're kind of placed. You're kind of placed. You find yourself kind of placed in a corner, if you will. Okay. There's um the 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 natural rock kind of moves up the wall. There's some there's some glowing moss here and there um along the the uh, where the wall meets the uh, cave floor. Um, the braziers are lit. You know the fountains going. This just seems to be like a location where they brought you for privacy more than anything. It's not like a bad part of town or anything. There really are no bad parts of town in in uh, in Steelbury. Mm. But it's just yeah. But you're no, you are not tied up. You are not. Um, uh, you're not blindfolded. You're not gagged. Nothing. How bizarre! You are just weaponless. I guess I'll go over and try and wake up Elliot. Yeah, they're already starting to move a little bit. Elliot, as you kind of wake up, you 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 take that you take the same scene in, right? Um, Dimitriev, you're the same, right? You, immediately, your handcocks at your hips, your your beautiful new handcocks are gone. Um, your your uh, wood axe, your wood axe is missing off of your back. You look over to Daka. Daka's missing his um, his hand crossbow. Yeah, I just say, I haven't got any weapons. Where are your weapons? Mm, no, mine's gone. My mace missing so as right well? Here yeah, cast everything fire is gone, bolt. yep. What happened? When did we all fall asleep in this tunnel? <laughs> so, um, so you guys, so there's a, there's a shuffling about 20, 30 feet away from you. Um, as you guys kind of sit up a little bit here, maybe kind of lean over on a shoulder and, and kind of push yourselves up with a hand. And um, there's a, there's, you count anywhere from about 10 to 15, what you think are gnomish folks, right? They're small. Um, they're all dressed in dark. As we mentioned, they're all in black. Some of them are kind of disappearing into the darkness and coming back as they move. It's not a magical thing. It's just, they're using the shadows a little bit, um, but they're all similarly, um, masked with, with black sackcloth, very dark cloth. 
dark, dark black goggles. Bla I mean, everything about them is black. No symbols upon them of any kind. Mm. Well, we can see them. They, they're in front of us. Yeah, they're not trying to hide from you. The, the ones that kind of come and go from vision are simply because the shadows are kind of moving around them. They're a very stealthy, uh, stealthy group, if you will. Where are our weapons? Are you what? saying that out loud, obviously? Yeah, why have you okay, taken perfect. our weapons? Where so, are they? one of them approaches, gets about 20 feet away from you and says, they'll be returned when we're done. We mean you no harm. Done with what? This conversation. Well, if you're done, then I would like my axe back. And the <laughs> Hancock. <laughs> So they, the, another one kind of approaches, a second one approaches the one who's speaking to you and, and, and up into his ear, and then he, he kind of gives a nod over to Elliot. And then the first gnome, the, the, we'll call him the leader for right now. Um, the first, the, the, the leader kind of looks over at Elliot and says, so you're the one. No response. <laughs> I just cut. I just, you know, I'm, I'm sort of pick myself up on the floor. I'm sort of still sort of kneeling on the floor, and I kind of just, you know, just look back at him. You know, my face is pretty blank for now. You ever seen these guys before, Elliot? Uh, I, I turn and glance over at Dmitriov and shake my head slightly, but. Elliot's nothing. never interacted with these with this we'll just call them faction for now. I don't know what else to call them. Ninjas with a G. They're not yeah. the ninjas. I mean they're clearly the ninjas. <laughs> so, if these aren't the ninjas, then who are the ninjas? What do you what do you want? I desperately want to call cast fireball. <laughs> Come on. You want to do what? I want to cast fireball. <clears throat> and what is your what's your target going to be? Um, the center of the gnome um, pack that's abducted us. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, let's open your. Now this is going to be a little bit different, obviously, because I don't have a map for this. Like I said, and I apologize because of the what what happened with Forge. But I'm, I think, I, I, I'm gonna ask the rest of the gang if I'm allowed to cast Fireball. I mean, if you if you think you're casting Fireball, you're casting Fireball, right? Like it it seems like it's a kind of an on the spur decision. I'm, I'm readying an action. <laughs> <laughs> what's, um, what's that action, Dimitriov? Well, I've got my dash and unarmed attack, and I so you know he's in range. I'm gonna ready. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say to the, to the rest of the gang, that I desperately want to fireball these. No, abductors. They could have killed us, and they haven't. So let's, you know, let's. See yeah, but I'm gonna say, say that's what I'm. Say. I I don't cast fireball. I say that I desperately want to. Maybe cast maybe just show them like the fire in your hand. Mm. Cool. You can't take my weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yes. What's that? Can, can, can you break this down for my, my weapons, and then I'm gonna uh, start um, creating a uh, fire in my hand. Minor okay, so you uh, now. Let me ask you: Are you using like pyrotechnics for that, or are you minor illusion? I'm sorry. Minor illusion. Okay, perfect. So you use a minor illusion. So you 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 can is it uh, is it your traditional green fire is it red fire what do you? Um, this is a red fire. Okay, so you you raise your hands in your traditional manner to to for you know you almost this is this is like a warning thing right this isn't a, what what's the purpose yes. of this? I'm I'm uh, telling the gnomes tell us why you've taken us or I'm gonna fireball you. Okay, perfect. So. As your as your There's as your small green as your small green hand comes up, and you and you and you work to concoct this 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 red ball of fire flame right about the size of your hand in it, nothing appears in your hand. What? 
Give me um give me a perception. Low mid cast fireball. <laughs> Shit fuck. <laughs> go ahead, no, go ahead and give give me a um give me a, give me an arcana check at advantage. Okay, beautiful. So the not much better than a 22 there, unless you rolled a 24. We'll just, even though you didn't do it, in, did you do it at advantage? Yeah, you I did. did. Okay, at advantage. There it is. I didn't see the dice pop out, so that must be another thing with, um, yeah. uh, with yeah, it says It says advantage. In the yeah. Um, so, yeah, immediately, right, you feel, um, you feel like this, you feel this drawing from you. As you go to concoct this power, right, as you go to, to do, to derive this power from yourself, from your gem that's sewn into your into your chest piece, right? That you're used to being able to to um, do to create, you know, all, all manner of of magical uh, feats, right? You almost mm -hmm. feel like as the power moves from the gem to your hand, it's actually drawn from your hand over to something on your in your far far right, ninety degree, almost ninety degrees to your right. Yeah, I divert my attention to what that might be and try to inspect. Embedded in the ground is a, is a steel spike about a foot tall. I walk over to it. So are you, you're going to walk over? Yep. Okay, so you start to walk over and four or five of the small gnomes, all with crossbows drawn, move over in front of it and take aim at you. <laughs> They're not... Be, they're not um, they're not like aimed up on shoulder ready to fire away it's just they're aimed towards you in a, in a manner of preparation i'm completely on face and ask what the fuck they're doing and uh why uh what that is in the ground the steel pipe spike so the first gnome the first uh the the, the leader again looks over at elliot and says tell your friends to relax there's there's no harm to you all here You've taken our weapons and you've ab ab abducted us, and you're not telling us anything. And you're now pointing crossbows at me, and you're saying you mean no harm. This, I stun. You, you can see why I'm a little bit skeptical towards your behavior. I can see why you're all skeptical. I I stand up off the floor to my full intimidating height and sort of rub my head a bit where I got knobs, and I say, "There certainly has been harm." Um, who who are you? you? Why are we here? Um, you know, you may have taken our weapons, but the four of us are very competent in uh, you know several aspects, uh, regardless. So you know, let's have some answers, please. Demi, did you want to say something too, Dimitriov? Or are you? No, I was just laughing because uh, they've all got crossbows pointed at us, and we've got no weapons. So, like, I mean, I, I mean, they might be gnomes, but you know, yeah, no, no. pretty sure. Stigma. So, so the the the, the quote unquote leader looks at you, Elliot, and says, "We were informed that you would be coming here. We had no other way to get a conversation with you. We." I apologize about what it is that we had to do, but nonetheless, it's done. You could have walked up to us and asked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can think of like several ways to communicate with us. Mm. None of which <laughs> includes abduction mm. and stealing our stuff. No disrespect. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh. Well, hey! How long have we been unconscious? Do you not realize that we were on like a mission to maybe save the world, all of norm kind, and you just knock us out for God knows how long? What what the hell are you playing at? Okay, so before you say that, Jim, I want to remind you all of the last conversation that you had with the uh, um, with the great librarian, which was keep the information herein within this room. Mm -hmm. So would, would, is that still something you would say? I wanted to remind you of that because yep. maybe you had forgotten that from last week. No, so is that still something you would say? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That that is why we are here as well. So why did you knock us out? <laughs> How long were we out for? There are powers at work that you have no concept of. 
there is no way we would have gotten a conversation unless we had waylaid you. Really, you really, really, really could have just talked to us. <laughs> <laughs> Serious doubt. <Yeah>. Any hero. <laughs> you really could have just talked to us. So what do you want to say then? Yeah, I mean, now is the time to talk. Chop, chop. So he looks down at he looks down, looks across at Elliot. I'm so used to saying looks down at Elliot, right? They're the same height. We all he look down across, at Elliot. <laughs> nobody puts baby in a corner. He looks across at Elliot and he says, What are the desires of the librarian? Uh... <laughs> get get the heck out of here <laughs> you know you you guys may be the ones pointing crossbows at us but uh you know you you can either kill us or start talking because there's gonna be trouble for you if not we need to know what the librarian wants of you to help uh save uh, save everything <clears throat> i'm sorry say again to help save everything You're going to have to be a little more finite. In that. No, you're going to have to be a little more cooperating. Yeah, give us some information. If you if you know everything what we don't know about, and yet you want to know what we know about, that seems a bit boss-eyed, doesn't it? Fair enough. What do you what do you want to know? Well, what... <laughs> So who who exactly, who, right? who, who was the person who was the person you just to said was told to to come here? Who told you that we would be here? Let's start there. So he kind of he looks over at his we'll call him his lieutenant, right? The the other guy. Lieutenant the lieutenant Dan. comes over and and kind of whispers in his ear a little bit, and he whispers back. We cannot divulge the the membership of uh, of of our group. There's too much at at at, at risk. Right. What is at risk? Why our are you very wasting lives. all of our, our times? lives? Why not, are you wasting all of our, our times? Our lives. Yeah. Stop being fucking cryptical. Start being a little bit clear about what the fuck is going on, and uh, then let us go, please. How, how many how many gnomes are there? How many gnomes can we see? You can see plus or minus 15 as they kind of move about. They're, they're moving around to disguise their numbers just a little bit. Um, they, some of them are outside of view. Some are around, you know, some move around corners. I mean, I, 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 I turn the, uh, to, to Daka and give him a glance like, you know, hang on a minute, you know, you know, go on. I give him a, I give him a glance, you know. <laughs> give him a glance. <laughs> yeah, that's just the ones that you can see. You're sure there's probably more out there. The fact that this corner is also, you know, untouched by any other gnomes as far as like people walking around the corner kind of tells you something. I'm I'm really losing my patience here. I'm you know, I for this last, you know, how long has it been? A week or so, I've been completely consumed by this idea that perhaps we can, you know, save you know, save these people. Uh, you know, perhaps we can, you know, stop Night Demon from whatever he's doing, and uh, and and yeah, you know, I'm I'm fully focused on this, and so far everything we've done is to this end, and now we've been waylaid, and I'm you know, I'm really really you know not happy at all. I nudge yeah, Elliot. I'm in the mood for this. I, I nudge I nudge Elliot, and I whisper in his ear, "Do you still have the ring?" Oh, oh, Dimitriov, yes. I, I mean, I, 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 I look back to him and I, and I, I give him a nod. Mm. So I, and, 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 and I, and I, and I say, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Wait. Out in public. Oh, wow. <laughs> <That's> not... <laughs> so to which that ring do you I'm here? Oh, so, Elliot, out of character, which ring are you speaking about? Are you talking about your silver ring with Dimitri? Or are no. you talking about? The, the black ebony yeah. ring for... The ring that will return us to Night Demon, yeah. Mm. Let's skip these lame gnomes and get the hell out of here. You've got yeah. no weapons, though. That's the problem, isn't it? Well, my mind is my weapon. Wow. <laughs> Let's skip these lame gnomes, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> lens, aren't they? They are yeah. yeah. 
The massive. I like bellend. how everybody that doesn't give you every piece of information is a bell end. <laughs> no, like everybody who, who clubs me over the head and knocks me unconscious and then like starts to like do you know do you, like you ask you hey, some rubbish. Yes, those are And then like saying they're on our side or whatever when they're like. They're not that on our side when they've knocked us out when they could have just talked to us and said, Oh, hello, hello chaps, what are you up to? any fucking information. Hmm. I'd rather okay, deal so... with the country bloody wizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the... Main three. So the, 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 the lead gnome can kind of see that you're getting very frustrated. No, 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 no. This is way beyond frustrated. I mean, this is like my entire life's focus right now. All of my uh, mental energy is being put into traveling down this path, and I'm being prevented from doing so. He, he, he looks it's, at you, it's, right? It's more than daily level, so I'm happy right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he looks at you again, and he says, we have to know the position of the librarian. That's why we're here. The librarian is positioned within the library. You could go and ask him. Uh, yeah, why, haven't, why, why don't you why ask you the librarian yourself? Who the hell are you guys? Why all this funny business? Mm. <laughs> so, out of character, I'm trying to... <laughs> okay, so, maybe I'm not playing this as well as I should, right? You've got a whole bunch of gnomes. I'm angry! <laughs> You're who are actively up. disguising themselves, obviously for a reason, right? They've told you that they fear for their lives if their um, identities are discovered. But they're the ones pointing crossbows at us, having kidnapped us and taken our weapons away from us. <laughs> yep. Now you guys, you guys are very dangerous individuals. They're not, you know, you're, you've got a reputation. Yeah, All right. They knew. They could have talked to us. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the city of steel we do not okay, so have a reputation for being something. unreasonable dickheads well three of us didn't <laughs> <laughs> i am very <laughs> much not unreasonable out, out of character out of character what's the odds on a 20 foot forward roll <laughs> <laughs> you can easily do a 20 foot forward roll the question is is how many shots do they get off if any if they choose to before <laughs> Okay, I look at I look around at the gnomes. Uh, I I do I recognize any of the gnomes at all individually? No, I mean they are they are with, with the exceptions of their noses. Okay, their yeah. faces are totally covered, right? Um, How distinct is a gnome nose? It could be quite distinct. <laughs> I mean, as as distinct as a human nose would be, like if there was something specific about that you, nose. You're saying that proportionally a lot larger than the human nose and therefore will have definitely more like uh, character than a human nose okay and therefore like presumably will be a little bit more distinct than a human nose right human human human, human. human. so elliot you've never recognized any of these noses <clears throat> <laughs> no, sir. You know, Nobody knows a, it's these a noses. <laughs> it's a good question. So now, Daco, so Elliot, do you know who these guys are? Like, uh, what organization or whatever? <clears throat> I, 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 I have no idea. Uh, all I know is that they're, you know, they're doing my head in. Yeah. Well, what organization are you in? Who are you, gnomes? We've got no idea who you are. We we don't even know what the librarian's position is. Yeah, like I don't, don't know. know. I I don't understand the question. Yeah, he hasn't right? got because a position. Yeah. We, we need we... to know what the librarian's position is with the old gods. He doesn't have a position. He just he just. What what just old, what old gods? What old gods? Oh, clever Dimmy. That is okay. Not so, <laughs> yeah. It, so immediately he looks at you and he says, "If you expect us to be honest, we need you to be honest as well." We're honest as fuck. <laughs> we 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 have no idea what you're talking about, and I I don't yeah, know anything no about. Idea. I don't know anything about old gods. Are you sure you got the right people? You were summoned here to meet with the great librarian. We travelled here of our own accord. There was yeah, no summons no made by anybody. Yeah. Listen, nobody gets in to see the great librarian without great cause. We know who you are. Who are you? 
Yeah, then it's pretty fucking fair that you tell us who you are if you know who we are. We are not prepared to reveal ourselves, as I've already mentioned to you. We need to know the position of the great librarian. We, we need don't to know, know which side. fucking position. We need to know whose side he's on in this war. Which side oh, is on in this war? Okay, well. Are we are we grouped together on the floor? No, no, you guys are standing. They're not. They're not being. The only thing that they have done to stop you guys so far was to stop Dadel from reaching the spike. I'm sorry, Flargo from reaching the spike in the ground. You guys are about 20 foot separated from each other. You're having, they're not yelling at you. They're keeping their voices down. They're not, you know, most of their weapons are, are aimed at the ground or around. They're not being overly aggressive, even though, yes, they did waylay you and brought you to a corner in Steelbury, without a doubt. I mean, you have every right to be pissed off about that. So, so I, 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 I move sort of, you know, equidistant from all of the others and, and beckon them over. Beckon, beckon Flagel and, and Dimitrov and Dak over. Yeah, I'll come over. All right, I'll come over as well. Yeah, I'll come over. Then I take the ring out of my pocket and I kind of, you know, hold it before them and, and you know, look around at them. We all put our hands on the ring. <laughs> all put our hands on Elliot's ring. <laughs> I well, so the ring's I on your finger, Elliot. Right? It, it, it actually, oh, okay. <laughs> you've toyed with it in the past, it will not come off. Oh, oh, right, okay. It's too small to fit over a knuckle. Well, I, I hope, which, which finger? It's your right ring finger, if you remember. Mm, Middle finger. Which one's the ring finger? Is that one? The the one the closest second. to your pinky. Yes, yeah. okay. So I, I, I hold my finger up yeah, with a ring and, and sort of look at them questioningly. You hold your fingers up. <laughs> exactly. I say I don't want to go back to night, Dana. Uh, okay. Mm. What say you, Daka and Dimitriov? I'm, I'd like to go anywhere these little shits aren't. <laughs> well, right, I mean, that's I, my feeling. I, 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 I would like to call their bluff and just I, I would walk over to the spike and break it because if they're they're not going to shoot us, they would have killed us already. If they well, were gonna... that's a good point. So I would like yeah, to. I'll, I'll I'll I mean, they, they didn't like... kill us because they were able to disarm us and turn off our magic. If our magic is turned back on again, they might just shoot us all, right? That's... Well, why would they kill us? If they if they wanted to kill us, they would have killed us already. Well, no, because we weren't a threat. That's why they didn't kill us, right? They knocked us out while we while we were unprepared. Now, if if Daedal's just basically threatened them with a fireball, if, if they're not going to let him do that, are they? They're just going to kill him or all of us. Or they're going to fight. Is they going to? They can fucking try. To be fair, because six crossbows ain't all that. <laughs> so they could try and fight us, but. Like they're gonna definitely turn hostile if. if so they, hang if they on. So that. what's the, okay? So what's more important to you? Telling them the librarian's position or having a massive tower? Up? I mean, he doesn't have one. I, it's this is stupid. I don't know what you're talking about. What war? What worrying about? We, we, you yeah. just said that we you know things that we don't, know and then you're proving it because we about. haven't got a clue what you're on about with no war or anything. We've got no idea what the yeah. great librarian's position is. That's yeah, I don't remember the war. I smoked a lot of kush, so so cool. my, my memory is a bit vague. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you truth. telling? The, so, uh, out of all of that jumble, what are you telling the gnomes? That's it. That's that. That's what, what I just said. Look, we don't know anything about any war. We don't know what the librarian's position is. We don't. You know, you said that you know things that we don't. Well, tell us what you know because we don't know any of it. I mean, you've just said that you know what we don't and then you're asking about what we don't know <laughs> yeah what like, the hell did you just say you know? <laughs> no, we don't i said what i said <laughs> god damn it you asked what you don't know what we don't know they're okay, looking so, for so i'm assuming what you're trying to say Jim, <laughs> is that you have no clue what war he's to quote unquote war he's talking about yeah and you're not sure what information he's looking for obviously, from the great librarian I'm getting this duck is intelligent nine obviously i got what he's talking about how can the gnomes not get it I'm, I'm trying, no 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 i'm trying to make sure that i'm getting that for when i have the response so um the gnomes lieutenant kind of comes back to his ear again right and they they whisper a couple lines again, and the uh, and the leader looks up at you and he says, "the the librarian mentioned no internal strife, nothing. We don't we don't care about any of that, gnomes. 
Internal? I don't remember internal strife. No. No, he did not mention in any any type of a, a war, quote unquote war. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think. Yeah, no war, no nothing. He just said, "You can have a look at this stuff because it might help you." And as to my recollection, none of it helped, and that's why we were on the way to the temple. But like I said, I did smoke a lot of Kush, so I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. So um, the lieutenant comes to his ear again, and they whisper a few things back. And then he, the leader looks back at Elliot again. And he says, but you've been in the presence of an old god, right? Why do you wonder this? Like, what's your fucking purpose? <laughs> He's still staring kind of at Elliot to see if Elliot's going to respond before he does. He hasn't. I'm asking you. Yeah, you know, if you don't let us continue on our way, then you might be in the presence of an old god before long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. So I, he looks I'm over. No, he, he, so me. he listens. He hears Elliot's response, and he looks over directly at um, at Flargolstar. Um, you know, and he's and he's. You've started something, that you have. The ball is already rolling downhill. We didn't if start the old we didn't it. Didn't start it. If, if, if the old gods return, if it's they're not, allowed to return, it's over. It's not anything that we have done, dickhead. <laughs> we didn't start shit. Yeah, we didn't start anything. We didn't start anything. You got your fucking information way back. <laughs> yeah, I so think... I think you've had some misinformation because we've yeah, not decided yeah. anything. What have and, you guys been smoking? <laughs> and we're probably we're probably trying to solve the very thing that you're trying to warn us about. So I I don't understand why you've taken our weapons to 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 try and yeah start being want... a little bit helpful or I'm gonna scream and walk away. <laughs> it sounds like you have it mixed up and you think differently of what our intentions are. So the lieutenant comes over again. They do their usual thing back and forth. This is obviously some kind of a trusted advisor, uh, it, somebody who uh, uh, may have knowledge of something else. I'm not sure, you know. But you, he's he's a very trusted advisor to whomever the leader is. And then the the leader then kind of looks down, and he 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 beckons one of his other men to come over and, and you see, you see another gnome kind of walk up behind him and in his arms, he's got all of your weapons and he places them down at his feet. And he says, there was no other way to ensure we could get a conversation with you alone. Again, doubts move on. Carry on. Well, no, so, it, does, it, it, it sounds, yeah, it sounds like whoever's informing you is informing you incorrectly, but we, yeah. are, we are not here to bring back old gods. Or so, to fight you. So at that point, they're, they're, they're somewhat confused, right? You can see it in their eyes and, and, and in their, in their the, goggles. In their, yeah, in their goggles. Well, I mean, the way that they're kind yeah, of they're looking at each other, right? You can, you can, you can read. Goggles. You can read them. <laughs> we can't. We literally can't see their eyes. You have made that very clear. <laughs> and um, and and the leader then decides. He kind of looks. He looks down at. He looks. He looks over at Elliot. He doesn't look down. He looks over at Elliot. And he removes his goggles and removes his face covering. And Elliot, it's it, it's a gnome you've never seen before. I thought he was going to be my gnome friend. No, uh, it was not, no, it's not your gnome friend. I thought it was going <laughs> to be the gnome father. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not being funny, but all gnomes look the same to me, so I, I'm not sure which one it is. And he looks at you, Elliot, and he says, the, "If the old gods are returning." There's only two sides of the fight to be on, to stop them or to welcome them. We need to know where the great librarian stands. We had figured that your conversation would be centered specifically around this. All right, out of out of character, out of character. Are we meant to like know this? Are we meant to remember? Like, like, 
I, I, he, I, he talked about some stuff, didn't he? But I don't know. I, I can't really remember. It was a week ago, man. Yeah, yeah, I I don't remember him saying either way with Roy. I did when... not pay attention most of the time. No, I was. <laughs> That's great, Dado. I'm glad to know that. <laughs> yeah, he said, he I mean, said about like we should try and stop them and that, right? Because God knows I what thought, happened. Yeah, we should I try and stop the. Been... What was it like? A, some kind of a shield or something wasn't there that we should try and get back or whatever. <clears> but, he um... tried to help us because we're trying to not like give in to what he wants. You know what I mean? We were trying. Okay, we we're trying so... to get the. I'll say. I remember this. Dakar will say. He was. He said something about a barrier or something that he wanted to back back up. Okay, so let's go back to your conversation, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> let's backtrack. We we get the we get the. Um, all of a sudden, Daka has an uh, has an awareness, like something peeks into his head. Uh, everything, <laughs> everything fades to black, and then he comes back, and we're right. introduced to a to a to a soft, cloudy scene that is that is Daka's memory of of, 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 the, of the five of you. I'm sorry, yeah, the five of you, the the great librarian, the four of you, um, the the um, the seat of the of the uh, of the tablets. And the note taker are all sitting around this table again, and Elliot recall. I'm sorry, Daka recalls um, that the old that the old gods were acknowledged by the great librarian, right? And this is news to Elliot because, to Elliot's knowledge, the only thing that he knew of was the gnomish gods, right? He's, he'd obviously been instructed along some of the human gods, some of the you know so on, but his his is. To, to him, there was nobody above them. That was it. And now he's found out from the great librarian that indeed the gnomish religions know of and understand that there was or is a, 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 a patron. I guess a patronage is a good way to put it. A patronage of the old gods, um, numbering anywhere from as few as 20 to as many as 100, uh, that they've been trying to get research on. That these old gods were actually the 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 power behind the creation on Solarian. That at some point they had created the current pantheon of gods in order to give each of the races a spur to move forward. So the gnomes were given the gifts of. Um, of, of knowledge, of knowledge seeking, of, of, uh, you know, those aspects, but they lacked the desire to continue to move down that road. So the gnomish gods were created and the chief engineer specifically is somebody who then mentally, emotionally, sometimes physically spurs the gnomish peoples forwards to great discoveries. As a result of creating this pantheon of gods for all of the different races, a pseudo buffer, we talked about this buffer, right, appeared between the old gods and their creations. Uh, that was not a, it was almost like an after effect of creating the pantheon of gods because now the, the we'll just use the gnomes again as an example. Instead of them going directly to the old gods, they were now going to the chief engineer and the and and the great hearth keeper and those individuals, and they lost connection with the old gods, and as a result, the old gods lost their ability to interact with either good or bad with the creations on Solarian. So that was where that whole conversation kind of went around. Elliot was quite stricken by this because as a religious. And again, we, we know that the gnomish religion is not necessarily a bow down on the knees and pray religion. But as a, as, as a religious gnome in his mindset of religion, he had always looked to the chief engineer for the willpower to move forward and for the, 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 the granting of wisdom and intelligence you know, for discovery. But now he's found out that, holy hell, there's actually something else. Yeah, I don't really care though. I was already like past it with with the chief engineer, to be honest. Like I, I wasn't too, you know. I just took it in my stride, really. And it wasn't, you know, it, it was neither here nor there. Well, but remember, we also talked about how you're like, and the and the churches know this, the and you and they were like, yes, they do. And remember, you you had all made mention of that specifically. How it's wait a second, you know, like the 
like the like uh, like certain sex right until you reach a certain level you don't actually find out the truth type oh view. okay so maybe i have a worse opinion of the of the of the gnomish church hierarchy you than did before, yeah you, if but... i remember correctly you actually <laughs> you were pretty pissed off about it because it was one of those things of like so wait a second we are keeping knowledge you know because the gnomish peoples are all about knowledge and sharing of knowledge and there's this direct antithesis of this which is we have this knowledge but we are sharing it with nobody on purpose Well, then that isn't a position, right? The, the, that's just uh, like the facts right, that the librarian's giving us. Yeah, we've got no idea that's what the position is. Apart and, from, um, well, now that you've, they've just said the position on the war between the old gods and the new gods, I guess, was, was what he implied, right? The, you're either on the side of the old gods or you're against the old gods. And he was against the old gods, wasn't he? Because he, he, he wanted to help us get the barrier back and that. Yeah, I suppose so. So I guess it's fair. Well, they, they were remember they were concerned about the power because they don't know what could happen as a result of the old gods returning. Hmm. They have no clue, and that that's their biggest concern. Is wait a second, we now know that they're real. We we've always we've always known of them, but we didn't we didn't know if they were. Remember, we talked about this, right? Like how ancient man would worship the sun moving across the sky. And then we figured out the sun was a friggin' star, right? It ceased to become a God. So was that what happened with the old gods? Like, is it, but now there's a, the, 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 the name and the words of the old gods we've seen Daedalquist has, I'm sorry, Flargo Snarp has interacted with that. And we've now seen Elliot has directly had a conversation with somebody claiming to be an old God. Remember? Mm. We were all present for that conversation. Mm. I'm sorry? We were all present, present for the yeah, conversation. you were, but you, 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 you uh, were kind of looking game. at you directly, making you make the choice, right? I, 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 is that canon? I felt like it was a joint choice. <laughs> no, that was definitely your choice. Well, Elliot, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so the question was that you were then going to go and see what the church's position, because even though Elliot's not very high on the church right now, you now know what the logical not necessarily their position was more along the lines of you need to find out more you need to go interact with this god Elliot. he's obviously attached himself to you for some reason we're well, going to keep doing more research because we have umpteen rooms of books and and stuff like that we've we've only had you know four days since since um uh, Rolock the knuckle has has told them that you were on the way what what exactly was it what why are we going to visit the temple district we we're going to see a priest why can so i remember could, so he could talk to the chief engineer and try and um... give us more information about night demon yeah, right. remember they, they were right, beseeching okay. you to try to re-establish your connection with the mm -hmm. chief engineer yes yeah but I, we need a big boy yeah, so we're heading cool. to the temple yeah. that was where you guys because you you were kind of at a dead end right until they found more knowledge mm. and then and then space was like People can just speak to gods in D&D. &D. And we were like, oh, all right, well, let's fucking go. <laughs> Space did drop that little hint there in chat. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> While you guys were all getting getting freaking loaded off your pipes. <laughs> yeah, so we're like, well, the high level one will be. Well, and, and Elliot, you've had a direct connection to the chief engineer when you when you just beseeched you know, him or her or them or they for assistance in the catacombs. And you were fully restored, if you remember. Uh, yeah. D did I beseech them all? I did that just happen? But I remember. I, I no, do remember know it. You, you pray. You, you, um, you, you held up your uh, your holy symbol. This was before it broke. You okay. held up your holy symbol and reached out. Remember, and you rolled a friggin' twenty on your religion check. Okay. Okay. Fair. Fair. <laughs> oh, Dimmy's getting ready to smoke another some more Kush there. Yep. So right. so we well, fade back out of Daka's memory. Okay. And right. we come back to, to to real world today. Well, real we come back to, to now in uh, so, in in uh, Steelbury. So I've got a question for you. Do you want to help us? What is it you intend to do? We need to find out. We want to know what the great librarian's position is. Right, but if we say anything, so 
if you find out that he's in a position that is against you, what do you intend to do? And if you find out that he's in a position that you would like him to be in, what do you? What are your intentions? Like, it's like I don't want to say anything that's going to put a man in danger who's done nothing but to help us and who's told us and been up front. I about. want to know if your intentions are good. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> it's uh, it's like I'm not like I like we swore to that man that whatever conversation we had was not going to go any further and like whether this like this could be a test like this could be anything right and i'm not prepared to admit anything to you so jack will did you say the weapons are on the ground now yeah the weapons are on the ground about 20 30 feet from y'all Oh, dash. I think we should be slowly inching towards them. <laughs> Just subtly inching towards them. Oh my god, them. look at that! And then be like, look, an eagle! <laughs> <laughs> we just inch towards them, right? Just creep forward. Like they always so, do in the movies, right? They always no, do in the so movies, he, don't they? They always creep so forward. So he takes Dimitriov's words words to heart, right? You know, you can you can tell this isn't this isn't a situation where you're trying where he's trying to rob you, right? It's not one of these. Again, we're in we're in kind of a situation where we're having a little bit of back and forth, and he says the position of the collective is that however this war ends up that gnomes are first among all other races. Wow, that's sounds... as we were in the beginning. Oh, flip me! Oh, bloody it's gnome not supremacists! A gnome, fascist. <laughs> gnome supremacists! Oh my god! Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fucking part of this. I reel back. I reel back, like we've obvious disgust. Oh my god! Is this is this the GGG? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, a, no, it's not. So, <laughs> sounds like it. <laughs> so, um, so this is in regards to them being "quote unquote" the oldest race on the planet, right? This is this. You, you get the sense this is more the about planet, more like this, <laughs> this is more about preservation of the gnomish peoples than it is about. It's not a yeah. Uh, a, uh, no, that, that's exactly what they racists say, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, just uh, so, yeah, you know, just preserving the white race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, this is mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm not a fan of these gnomes, yo. Know. <laughs> No, well, we, we we trust them all a little bit less now than it. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry>. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Elliot, are you saying that out? Did you say that out loud, Elliot? Or, um, I mean, like, what's your reaction to this? Because that's an honest, forthright reaction yeah. that you may have, right? Yeah. So it's it's weird, right? Because I'm a gnome, <laughs> but, so, but but yeah, I'm not like I don't know. Um, I'm not like some kind of yo. Know, Massive, you know, known known patron or something, you know. I, yeah, you know, I tried to be, you know, fairly like, you know. Uh, I mean, ult ultimately, it's quite even. Even Steelbury is fairly like multicultural, like there are other races living here and stuff. So, uh, you know, obviously, I have a lot of experience with interacting with other races and this kind of thing. And I don't know, I, you know, I, I for a long time, I've, you know, a large part of myself has been my belief in the chief engineer and what he is and what he does, and that, that's unraveling slightly recently. But I, 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 I always put that at so the forefront of my my being and you know my desire to sort of heal people you know via him and and you know whether they were a gnome or not you know didn't come into it so it's it's really weird and oh i maybe i've probably been aware of this kind of thing in you know in in in, in the culture or in other pe other cultures but uh, i've never obviously interacted with the, the, this collective or whatever but i i recognize them for what they are as soon as they say that and i'm like whoa okay you know Yo, fascists! <laughs> One of my best friends is green. <laughs> <laughs> be careful! Be careful where we're taking this, boys, because this was not the intention of this. Are <laughs> <laughs> you started it? <laughs> is it safe to come back yet? <laughs> Be careful, be careful where we're going here, guys. Flip me. Flip but yes, Elliot. So I mean, there's there's a concern there, right? Because 
you are you're a you're a gnome of of the of the world now, so to speak, right? Yes, you've only spent you know six months to a year outside of your studies at Steelbury, but you have made some good. I'll, we'll call them acquaintances. I don't know if we would call them all friends yet. Maybe you and and Flargle Snarper are on a little bit of an edge, but you wouldn't want to see anything happen to him simply because he's not a gnome. Um, you know, but like I said, you know, fucking hope not. But he's not. Um, it, it's it's it has so it does okay. have. I mean, it's it does I mean, have connotations of that, right? Yeah, but it's it's a ridiculous question because like at no point during any of our conversations did the librarian say at any point that he like we didn't discuss that as a as a topic. Like it wasn't. Like so, okay. So, would that have so uh, again out of character, Dimitri? Have you kind of you're thinking about that, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and that's so. I'll answer that question kind of out of character, like in your mind, right? Yeah. So the thought process there is now you're a little bit worried about the great librarian, right? Because they're obviously not sharing everything with you. They don't have to. You've just met them. Now you've met this. The, now you've met this member of the quote unquote collective, <laughs> who has who has discerned. Who has told y'all that basically in the war, whatever war that may be, that their goal is to make sure that the gnomish peoples come ahead. So now in your mind, you're going, wait a second. Now, what does that have to do with what all of the stuff that we just heard from the great librarian, right? Yeah. And um, what about this great war? Like, Because I'm not massively aware of this great war. Are we saying there's a great war between the old gods and like the whole civilization of... Well, you uh, so you would discern that it's not that. And now, could they be referring to a future war? I suppose. That's what. But it he sounds. spoke about a war, almost in a manner of it's currently going on. Mm. He did so say you're either they're... on the side of the old gods or, you, or you're not. He did say that. Mm. The librarian. No, Jack Bull just now. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> like literally. I mean, what I what what I, the... what I what I said or what I meant to say is depending on whether or not you're with the old gods or not. We are trying to make sure that the gnomish peoples come ahead. Okay. Well, before you oh, right. you implied that okay. the war was was oh, is he on the side of the old gods or not? No, no, no. There, the, to to, to un, unless there is in another part of the world, and I can tell you, there's not. Unless there is like f you know seven other the old gods, and they've already started to you know make war with. That's nothing like that, and you've heard no rumors of that. Nothing like that. Okay. To your knowledge, thus far, the only interaction with an old god has been yours. So in that case, Daka will say, "What fucking war are you on about?" Yeah, <laughs> fuck faces. <laughs> Oh, and that's that's fine. The last part. So he looks over at Elliot and he says, and and he and he says to Elliot specifically, in your tutelage, were you not, were you not instructed on our presence? Yeah, I bet they do look at Elliot specifically, don't they? The only gnome in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Because <laughs> well, we refuse to interact with these lesser races. <laughs> no, no, no. He's. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Not racist, by the way. <laughs> what species? <laughs> what, what was the question, sorry? He says, were you not instructed or made aware of our presence? Well, I, I, out of character, I'm, I'm not right. Like, I, I'm not see. I don't know. No, you have not. You have no, no knowledge. You, have, you don't know who this is. That, and you've thanks. never seen the collective or heard of the collective. <laughs> and you've never seen his uniform. Th and thankfully fact, not. Black, black, black goggles are unheard of in the, um, in the gnomish culture. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, part part of part of the gnomish culture, right, is being able to see each other's eyes, even though they're they're shaded, whether it be red, green, yellow, blue, you know, clear, because that's that's part of the interaction, right? You, you're able to read each other's eyes just as well. You don't hide from each other. And then having a, 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 a facial covering of one kind or another is usually reserved for thieves and cutthroats. Yeah, th thankfully, in, in all of my long years of education, I never encountered any any groups of yours. So his his lieutenant comes over again and whispers in his ear, and then they go back and forth for, for a good 10, 12, 15 seconds. Elliot, at some point, you will have to make a choice. You oh, will really? Make... <laughs> yeah. Not the first person who's told me that recently. <laughs> 
It seems that Elliot, Elliot's continued to roleplay this eating for the first. <laughs> <laughs> so as we as we're in this like dark and dingy cabin off to the side, uh, one of the travelling uh, carts comes through with, uh, with some food on it, <laughs> and I say, you know, oh, ha- hang on a minute, let's take five. And, and, then, and then he looks at the, he looks at the other three of you, and he says, and you've all been drawn into this. <laughs> and surely your peoples will be drawn into this at some point as well. Mm. Your people. Like there is a war going on in I'll the I'll take another, yet another step forward now. I'm getting, I'm edging, I'm edging forward all the time. I'll take another step forward and say, what do you mean, you people? <laughs> <laughs> your people. Peace. Not you people, your people. <laughs> oh, so you, you've got quite a few steps to get 30 feet, Jim, just so you know, yeah, okay? Yeah, but- just stepping forward. Okay. Just continuously so, um, so stepping so at, at forward. At some point, he says, at, at some point, this is all going to explode. <laughs> the old gods are here for a reason, and we don't know why. Neither do we. Mm-hmm. This is why we need to know the position of the librarian. If he, is, if he is intent on the gnomish peoples taking their place as they're supposed to be, or if he is, in, or if he is just standing idly by... No, he was intent on the Gnomish people taking their place. So his lieutenant comes up again, and 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 they kind of go back and forth a little bit. And now you head to the now you head to the chief engineer's temple. Oh, well, can we get our weapons first? No, no, I'm, he's asking you because you oh, had right. mentioned you were going to the temple. Oh yep. yeah, as, as soon as I get my axe, I will. Yep. Is there anything else you guys want to ask before he sends you guys piddle paddle on your way? Nope. What? <laughs> this whole interaction was bizarre. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> You're not a big fan of this interaction. No. I'm not a big fan of these gnomes. No. Done. Till yes. There you go, Elliot. Good. Keep going. <laughs> oh. Uh, we need, we must kill all the gnomes. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I was just take this logical conclusion. <laughs> Jesus, you, you, did you say you must call the gnomes? Kill, kill them. All of these gnomes. The collective. Kill them. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, well, I, did. I said I didn't like them, like, and you wow, said keep okay. going, so... <laughs> you turn them all into geldings? <laughs> you just skip right to the end. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Okay, so, um, so at that point, you know, they're gonna... They, they back off slowly... The um, the you see uh, you see several of them go. So um, Flargo Snarp, you're watching intently, right, about this spike. No, I'm not paying attention at all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> boring, boring gnomes. Yeah, not like goblins. <laughs> I mean. This is a little bit more like goblins, but in the worst possible way. <laughs> All right, so at that point, you see them kind of disappear into the shadows, and your weapons are just down there on the ground. Okay. All right. Forward roll. And, <laughs> and pick up the crossbow. Full instant forward roll. But, uh, yeah, don't try and shoot them or anything, obviously. Just make sure it's... Oh, over. no, they're gone before you can get to your weapon. Yeah. I wasn't trying to get to my weapons before. I know. No, that's what I mean. You, I mean, you're gonna, you're taking your time because you're worried about crossbows being aimed at your, yeah, your person. Yeah, just get the crossbow. Make sure it's all shiny and nice and works and everything. Yeah, it's it's totally. It's it's been undamaged. Your bolts are sitting there next to it. Good. Elliot, you find your mace. Dimitri, of your axe and your handcocks are undamaged. <laughs> right. Well, that was fucking weird, wasn't it? Let's go to let's go to the. It was pretty strange. I want to inspect my weapons for bugs. <laughs> for bugs, yeah. your your weapons are completely un, un undamaged and unharmed. Okay. <laughs> well, like like a computer not program a or like little like insects, a, like a wire tap or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> he asked if we were going to the temple, so you know. Yeah. Right, I think 
I think I'll say this to the group. I think we should all keep our heads on a swivel if these little fucking gnomes are ready to try and do us again. We need to be constantly alert to the Yeah, no no more cush, guys. No more cush. Yeah, no 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 ever relaxing ever. You got to keep your head in a swivel in a vicious cockfight. And command reference. How much does Kush sell for, by the way? Like 190 gold? Kush, so... You, you're not allowed to buy or sell Kush in and around Steelbury. It's a gift only, but, but the Kush is... is, is, is the it, Kush is, is quite, um, quite oh. desired outside of Steelbury. Oh, 190 oh. gold, 190 gold, let's go. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, see if trees into the kush mm. well d definitely oriolensis would know what the kush is mm. good to know good to know right so we sh should we head off to this temple district I i'm gonna prep my weapons my hand clocks get slipped back into their their usual pouches my axe is somewhat um i grease it a little bit just to you know make sure it's extra sharp because i'm a little bit agitated I want to have a look at what died. I want to inspect the spike in the floor. The, the spike's gone because you, you paid no attention to it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a, but, so uniquely enough, though, the hole is still there. It's, it's, I mean, this is rock, dude. This is not something, I mean, that, that spike's I'll made it. I'll inspect the hole and see if there's... Yeah, it's, uh... it's about an inch across, but that spike's got to be made of something quite strong or quite magical to be able to be driven into yeah, this rock. Th that's what I meant. I want to see if, like, I can feel the presence of magic still where the hole is. No, nothing at all. But you do, you... You, you, you feel, feel I don't want to say you feel your connection to the gem, but you feel... Undoubtedly, right, you would probably try to make a small illusion again in your hand just to test things out. Yeah. And your your connection is 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 restored. How big is the hole? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell the others what happened about uh, this whole uh, thing with the magic and that stick that they had the, the anti magic stick that they put in the hole. Hey, it could be it, it's 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 so these are very um you don't you don't see these very often, right? Anti magic these, sticks. No. Yeah, these anti magic spikes, and you know what it is. I mean, it, it's it's completely obvious to you what happened, right? Um, your power was lit was literally drawn from your from your hand directly to the spike and absorbed. Ooh, could we use one of those against an old god? Mm. I want to steal it from these uh, ninjas. Uh, Quilquist ninjas. So they're gone. They're out of there. Maybe maybe we need to find out exactly what that is and how powerful it is. A Kuklux ninja or? No, no. One of those spikes. Like, where do we get oh, one? Yeah. Like, does it work on an old god? Like, if it sucks the power away. Like, what is that witchcraft? Mm -hmm. Yes. They did seem to have some pretty powerful tools. Well, Very powerful tool. Yeah, Elliot, you you would. Um, I mean, they, they are they're gnomes, dude. They they don't they don't. They're they're, they're these relics. I mean, they, you have no clue how far it all goes, but you've heard tale of 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 even more powerful items, both in you know in in stories that your master had told you, and just discussions and rumors when you were a small gnomish child, right? Sure. <clears throat> Gnomes are, you know, ingenious craft people, right? They can create a bunch of different stuff. What what did the um the lady on the tray that walked past have? Oh, it was nice. Uh thanks. It was uh chi chicken pasta chicken and chorizo, ooh, pasta bake. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh carrots and green beans. Lovely. A very lucky gnome. <laughs> Two of the five a day, yeah. Two of the five a day. Unlike all those other gnomes who are going to hunt to the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. Elliot's finally eating again. So what is? So what's? I, I had hoped that would go a little bit longer. There. What's your intention now, then? Straight to the uh, temple to uh, chat with the chief engineer and get like the head priest or whatever to talk to the priest to talk to the chief engineer and see if he can tell us about. You know. So is it off to the temple then? Mm. 
I think so. What do you mean you hope they went a little bit longer? Did you hope we attacked them? Or well, what? we were meant to do something, weren't we? Like, talk to them, but we just got angry instead. Torture them. Yeah, you guys just get angry I about everything. Okay, you know, you got very all infuriating all notes. Conversations and you're like, ah, fuck you, I don't like you. You're a fucking wanker. I mean, they What's knocked next? us out. They knocked us you're out. You're a wanker. What's next? They you're a wanker. Us. Next. You, you're a wanker. Next. They knocked us out. I mean, there's not really the world, man. The wanker <laughs> Like, <laughs> it's a very bitter individual. We're trying to save the world, and these dickheads knock us out instead of talk to us. At this rate, Elliot's never going to get married. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, whoa, that was a bit low, wasn't it? Jesus. Yeah, like, I walk away in disgust. <laughs> Flip me. Oh. Wow. So, okay, I'm sorry. So, was that the intention then? Yeah. To let okay. Elliot never get married? <laughs> yeah, that too. So, okay, so you approach the temple district. So, just for shits and giggles, so that you know kind of where you were taken. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, am I allowed to follow the notes? Uh, it's not, le it's not like me ping either. So, this is Tuk Tuk's apothecary. You were down in, in the corner below it. Right. All right, I want to enter the apothecary. Well, no, you guys are going to the temple. You never let me have any fun at all. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I can ping it, look. So, we, can you guys, so see you guys it? walk over to the temple district, right? First thing you see, obviously, is this large gated area. So we had talked about when you first got here, um, specifically Dimitriov, how there were there really was no main gate right there were no areas of defense this is the first area of defense that you've seen and noticed um the the walls on the on the sides of the gate go rise all the way to the um to the to the cavern ceiling and there's there's a large gatehouse with two huge steel doors that open inward and those are open and, and you see a myriad of gnomes coming and going over 30 seconds as you kind of behold this beautiful gate complex, right? And you enter the temple district itself. And it's, it's, it's quite unique, right? It's a naturally carved area that you would think that this was carved out by the gnomes to, 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 to serve as this location. But this is actually all naturally formed. And each of the temples is of, of slightly different size and shape the hearth guardian being the smallest, the chief engineer being the largest. That doesn't necessarily mean that um, that one facet of, of the gnomish culture is stronger than another, more than um, it just has more individuals studying under those, under that area. Um, the great font is, is what Elliot has, has mentioned in conversation. Um, that, that you assuredly would have had at some point along the road in your travels over the last, you know, couple of weeks, either coming and going from the manor or heading down to Steelbury itself. And that there is a, a great electromagnetic um, field or source that that is is consistently in and amongst the, the world and 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 travels in a in a. I don't want to call it a river, but it, it's constantly in movement around Solaria and. and and it's it's it is said to come from the great font itself, and these individuals are kind of dedicated to preserving that font so that there is access to, to from all all gnomish cultures and facets to that font itself. Then, of course, we have the chief engineer dedicated to the creation of of all manners of. Of, uh, of knowledge, whether it's artisanry, whether it's jewelry, whether it's magic, whether it's um, architecture, even, even aspects of, 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 um, of government and, and, and the managing of, of, of massive amounts of peoples. You've got the hearth guardian, the, that, those are the individuals who protect the gnomish peoples themselves. They're, they're, if, if there was a paladin of the gnomish culture, it would be those, the, the members of the Hearth Guardian. You have the Temple of the Grave, which are dedicated to, to ensuring that those, those people who die in the service of the chief engineer are then transported to the chief engineer. They make their, their final journey um, to the chief engineer's presence. 
And then you have the temple of radiance itself, which are, are the healers, the, the, the life givers, um, those who ensure that they're, they're the ones who would travel with the hearth guardians. If there was ever any warfare that the gnomish peoples would, um, would engage upon or would engage in, I should say. Okay. Um, as we heading towards the Temple District, I'm having a bit of a think about, you know, who, who exactly we should go and visit there. I'm thinking maybe we should go to the Temple of the Grave, and I discuss this with the others. Yeah, you know, if if why, because why? if we, if we can send someone through to the other side, maybe they can talk to the Chief Engineer. Send you through to the other side. Mm, well, it can't be me because I'm the only one who can ask for vivify. <laughs> So, so we we kill oh, we kill one of you. Are you are you are you saying that one of the party members should die? Mm, so that they exactly. Can go to the other side? Exactly. Exactly. Die. Talk to Chief Engineer. One minute later, I cast a five. Oh man. Well, what did we ask the Chief Engineer? Well, I mean that's what we we're here for, right? Like find find out about the old gods. Find out if the Chief Engineer has had any you know knows anything about Night Demon or you know. Okay, so Elliot, you in your your experience with the the Temple of the Grave, the Chief Engineer, and the Gnomish peoples, to your knowledge, no other race goes through to meet the Chief Engineer. They would go to their gods and or goddesses if they chose to believe. So I'd have to kill myself and then revive myself. Probably yeah, not going to work. No. No. Yeah. So it, yeah, again, it's it's not that you have. It's not that it's specifically like banned. It's just you've never heard of anybody non gnomish going on to the chief engineer and his great council of Nod. Remember? Yeah. No, that was a good idea. I'll give you that. Well, I guess you should just go and talk to uh, the priests then. Yeah, that seems the best idea, doesn't it? So you en so you enter the temple of the chief engineer and Elliot. It's as it's as beautiful as you remember it, right? Regardless of your feelings towards the chief engineer and your belief system right now, it really is an amazingly beautiful building, right? It's made of, of carved stone blocks. Some of them, you know, two two times the size of your average gnome. Um, it's it's immaculately clean. Um, there is a giant, and I'm talking, you know, maybe maybe fifteen twenty feet across, giant platinum um gear that is hanging over the door as you enter as you go in it's right on the inside of the door right it's just this amazingly beautiful sight and it You're reflects right, the way so. the way say again uh Flargo? no <laughs> I'm just are you thinking about dick. stealing that bad boy <laughs> i'm just being a dick here. <laughs> Never mind. um so yeah so in and 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 and, and you know, as as you enter this, you are then kind of brought back to your your time in the Artisans Guild, your time at school, and then your off time, what you considered your off time, because it almost felt like this is where, you know, like, like when somebody had to go do their, uh, uh, what do you call it, N not your understudy, Elliot, but where you were forced to go learn about all the stuff you didn't really want to learn about, the ancillary subjects, if you will. This is your, uh, oh, God, what are they called? Your, uh, what are the extra classes, Elliot, that, that you take? Not your main course of main Optional. study? Your electives. Optional. Electives. Uh. These, this, this is where you, what you would have considered your electives, right? You went there and, and you learned about them as a result of being told you needed to learn about them, right? You didn't go full hearted. You weren't, it wasn't like you when you were in the Artisans Guild or when you were learning in the, um, in, uh, in um, in the university itself. <laughs> Elliot leans down to eat. Is there anything that, <laughs> is there anything specific that you're, what, what exactly are you guys doing now that you've entered the temple? Well, we want to, we want Elliot to like speak, you know, cause he's the gnome and you know, gnomes are pretty racist it turns out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the fuck was that about? <laughs> if any other gnome can talk to the other gnomes... That's, like... a, that's a pretty racist statement in and of itself there, Jim, that you've just assumed that all gnomes feel the way so does... So is Elliot racist then? 
So it appears it appears that gnomes as you know there's a there's certain amount of gnomes no it's just a you know they've got the, they, it's their religion and everything isn't it it's their deity or whatever uh, you know their beliefs their things so it's it's up to him to do it isn't it and talk to and talk to the the temple people to like get somebody who knows his stuff to go and speak to the group, the chief engineer and ask him about night demon so we we head into the temple and there's a are there any gnomes? There's lots of gnomes. Okay, so the 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 high priest, if you will, of 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 the temple of the chief engineer would not be present, right? You wouldn't you wouldn't simply walk into the temple and all of a sudden there's you know the pope or the nope, right? <laughs> um, and in fact, I don't I don't want you to even think about the nope because the nope is a historical figure who essentially in 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 the um, in the, <laughs> essentially uh, you know when when there was this this great um uh the holy Noman empire was trying to force in religion over logic he would have been overthrown and the church would have come back to its correct position the, the temple i should say would have come back to what is believed to be its correct position on that scale you know of 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 uh of logic versus religion Right. And trying to kind of kind of balance it right in the center. So this isn't a situation of where you you enter in and all logic is left behind. There's still a very good relationship between the temples and, and the college and vice versa. The university, I should say, um, there would be a high uh, there would be a, a, a priest on assignment at all given times. There'd be several. Elliot, you would probably recognize several acolytes. You would probably recognize several lower lower um, leveled priests, you would recognize, you know, n nobody that, that you would have had an, an explicit, you know, amazing friendship relationship with, but you, you, you would, you would be recognized as for whom you are. Your, are you, do you have your, do you have your holy symbol out, Elliot, or is it buried? No, it's secreted upon my persons for now. So you, you would, you would be very well welcomed in there, as would your compatriots, your companions. It's not that they would be stopped at the door or anything. What's so funny, Jim? What are you, what are you laughing about now? <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Browning Clown posed an interesting philosophical question in chat. We're not going there, guys. Oh, right? We're not going there. I'm not going there. I'm trying to save laughing. Jim's channel here, okay? I can't help laughing, but yeah, nobody said anything like that. Right, let's move on. I mean, we're not, we don't have to go for the nope or anything, right? Just like, but there's people yeah. who are like, you know, there'll be people who will be able to speak to the chief engineer, won't there, presumably, in there? So, Elliot, so would you would you, would you you address um, one of the mid-level priests? Would you go straight to the top as of, uh, as is... Who may be there specifically? So I, I go over to a, a, a middle priest that I, I don't know very well, but I recognize at least. And as we go over, the priest visibly recoils as they see the two humans and the, go and the goblin. No, they, they wouldn't recoil. They don't, they don't mind, right? The chief. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, stop making the gnomes like they're freaking... <laughs> The gnomes, the gnomes are not anti everybody else, Elliot. <laughs> but you are literally. You you seen that? But we're on the receiving end of this racism. Yeah, they hold up their cogs and go. <laughs> 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 but what you have found out, Elliot, is that there is obviously a faction who believes in, you know, the gnomes have been around the longest. Therefore, they have some level above others, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, those those. And you so, would probably find that faction, and literally, you'd find it in the orcs. Probably, if you went to look for it, you'd find it in the humans. You'd find it in the goblins, right? You would find this. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Cool. So I go over to this gnome that I recognize, and I and I say, you know, hello, you know, gnome. We we need we need your help. Can you be of assistance, with, please? And he turns around, and he's he's very very you know he. He looks at you and, and he's, he's, he's somewhat taken aback, right? Because you've got the, you've got the, the, the robes and, or the, I'm sorry, not the robes, but the, the vestments of a member of the coppers, yet you have a platinum holy symbol on your chest, right? 
Um, he wouldn't think that it's a theft situation. He wouldn't think, but it's just something that kind of catches him, catches him wary. His is gold, right? He's got a gold symbol upon his chest. Um, and he looks at you and says, well, how can I, how can I be of assistance for you and your compatriots? Uh, we come from, uh, the chief librarian. We are on a quest of the gravest importance. Uh, we desire to speak to the most highly ranked official, you know, a, a priest that we can do in the temple. Uh, could, could you guide us to them, please? So he, he takes in, he looks around, takes in all of your party. He knows whom you are, Elliot. Like I said, he recognized you. He's still a little bit, you know, yet another normal apologist. He's, <laughs> <laughs> and he takes in the holy symbol again, and he turns his back to you and says, follow me, brother. And, and you know, and, and he's kind of, um, he opens his hand to all of you. He doesn't want to separate you by any means, right? And he, and he takes you up more towards the front of the temple where you see, you see some higher level members of the priesthood up there. Nobody is as high as a platinum, but definitely a higher level within the gold, Zellion. These would be the individuals who would be responsible, by the way, for the day-to-day -day operations of the temple, Elliot. Go on. Did they introduce us to any of them in particular? Absolutely, yeah. So they would introduce you to um, another another female gnome would turn around and um, would would take a small bow from the first one that you knew. Um, do you bow at it? Are you offering any um, gnomish uh, uh, courtesies, if you will? Uh, yeah, I, I, I briefly incline my head. I'm impatient and I show it. And she comes down and, and the first gnome kind of walks away, going back to do whatever it was that, that, that he was doing. And she says, how can we possibly be of assistance for a, for a member of our order? So I take a breath and I sort of glance around at my, my, my fellow party members and I say, uh, we desire to communicate directly with the chief engineer. This level of communication is beyond me as, you know, a, a, a mere, you know, officially a copper on paper, right? You know, I, I don't have what it takes to do this. It's a matter of great importance. We come directly from the librarian. Can you help us in this task? Can you help us communicate directly with the chief engineer? So you, when you say communicate directly with the chief engineer, her eyes open up a little bit, right? And it open up further, you know, like larger. And well, surely you must understand that everybody communicates in their own way based upon their own faith and based upon his and their needs. Say you must understand nothing. <laughs> you can't tell me what to understand. Please excuse my goblin friend. <laughs> hey, fuck you, priest. <laughs> um... Yeah, so well, could could you <laughs> could, could you communicate in your own way? Do you, do you have any any method of you know obtaining information from the chief engineer? So she looks she looks down at you and and she's you can see that she's a little disappointed, right? Not like is frowning at you, but you can see and she says, "You've lost your connection, haven't you, my son?" The connection remains. Uh, I am capable of, um, you know, harnessing the chief engineer's power to manipulate the great electromagnetic field, just as any any other known with this order. Um, but my ability to demand information at will, you know, is is you know is is null. Um, you know, I I can ask of the chief engineer, but I doubt he will hear me. I doubt he will answer. Why do you doubt? Well, this is, you know, <clears throat> slightly time sensitive case we're on right now. Just <laughs> so be before we before we get anything to anything too, you know, philosophical or, or, or emotional or, or, or We need or a personal. direct line, lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 pretty much. But, but, well, like I say, I, I doubt because I just don't have the ability. You know, I'm, I'm still a fairly, you know, 
youthful in terms of my studies of the electromagnetic fields and my interaction with the chief engineer. I have interacted with him before, uh, but um, you know there was a limited. Uh, you know, I, I can't just pick the phone up and call him, right? <laughs> Can you? So she looks at you and she says, "There is no means to gather." that which you seek through another you must make the journey you must seek your own knowledge for everybody as you know our relationship is not the same as other religions we don't worship the chief engineer the chief engineer provides guidance there's a there's a difference there well and your can... need for guidance would be much different than mine or anybody's in this temple I appreciate what the the priest is saying, and I glance around at the others, and I say, "Well, okay." And, and did and the that... priest really say anything? Um, well, they all they... sounds like a lot of bull to me. She said less than the gnomes earlier did, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> uh, so I say, "Well, I, I, I guess it's you know all, all all we have then." If this is the case, and you know the the such representations must be made uh, personally, then I I guess I must try to you know seek guidance directly from the chief engineer. Are do, are you saying this to her? Or are you saying this to the party? Uh, to 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 everybody, to the, all of them, yeah. And she nods in agreement. I mean, she's she's like, you know, she can tell that you're you're having doubts, right? Well, I just didn't really know I was capable of that, isn't it? It's the thing. It's it's. It's, it's nice only level that... five, Norm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it was level nine, we wouldn't clearly, need your help. Like, clearly, in the correspondence course, once you reach level seven, they tell you how to. Run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Now you so there's so, the the temple of the chief engineer would be considered a quote unquote holy place, Ellie, but holy in the in in the terms of how you talk to the chief engineer right so this is where individuals would come if they were having a great trouble with a design right if there was i need guidance as to how this interacts with that if i'm trying to get you know x amounts of pounds per square inch of out of my the steam whatever that i'm trying to create for this machine and i'm at a i'm a, you know and several gnomes could come here together and 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 try to get those answers. It's a, it's it's, it's that type of a religion that we've created, right? Elliot? Again, you're you're not going to get down on your knees, hold up your holy symbol, and beseech, you know, for great, you know, uh, healing. Bring bring Dimitriov back from the dead, right? You would reach you would reach out for. Hey, when did I die? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying, what? right? Like, it's not that type of a religion, right? <laughs> Does that make sense? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. But on that bombshell, it seems a good idea to have a break. Eh? Is Elliot's just about? It's what I was, well, I was, I was going to yeah. see where Elliot's going to what what Elliot's going to do next with you guys okay. here, and then and then do that. Yes. Okay. Just reminding you. Captain. And uh, I would also like to remind that you need to turn the calendar off. <laughs> you and that calendar. That I hate it, calendar. man. It tilts me. Yeah, it tilts me, me too. So to much. It's like the ooh sound on football. It makes this beautiful map, and then he's got some old school Casio <laughs> calendar in the corner. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why'd you keep moving it around? <laughs> Trying to make it bigger. <laughs> oh, the what they all want, just make it bigger. The best Elliot and Dimmy clip of all time. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> Wait, what? You haven't seen You're it? Not seen it. You're not seen it, oh my god. What would you do at this point then, Elliot? Oh, yeah, 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 oh, no, no, yes, that one, yeah, that one is fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and the Nazis! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what was that the title? I didn't realize we had named them Nazis. <laughs> we did. 
the, the collective on Jim's channel. The, the collective, okay, the, the collective. We don't have them. We might have ninjas one day. We're definitely not gonna have them. <laughs> what? Have I missed something? I think yes, yes, you have. <laughs> All right, we're taking the break there. We're yes. taking the break yeah, there. We got perfect time for a now. break. People can calm down, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.